The question for this week's episode is, gut doctor, I've noticed some bright red blood in my stools. Is this just hemorrhoids? Do I need to do anything about it? That's a really good question. Let's dive right into it. This is a very important question from our subscriber and one that I think deserves a very considered response. We don't know the specifics of the case, but we can outline some general principles for managing rectal bleeding in answering this question. Our subscriber mentions the passage of bright red blood, and that's important because there is a medical term given to this. It's called hematochesia. Hematochesia is very common, and it's thought it may affect around 10% of adults. Most cases aren't reported, but a good proportion are concerned and do present to their local doctor. And that's a very good thing, because the first important point I want to make is that hematochesia always warrants further assessment and medical advice. When you present for a medical evaluation, the first thing that will happen is that you will be assessed for just how sick you are. This is very similar to the approach taken in the hematemesis video. The vital signs will be taken, and if there are signs of shock, then appropriate measures will be taken in hospital, including blood tests, administering fluids, and blood products. Your overall health as a patient will be assessed, including whether there are any major medical issues, such as problems affecting the heart, lungs, or kidneys, and what type of medications you're on, including the presence of any blood thinners, like warfarin. Occasionally, a very brisk bleed from the upper gastrointestinal tract, that is somewhere in the esophagus, stomach, or first part of the small intestine can result in fresh frank blood in the stools. If this is the case, then a similar approach to the management of hematemesis should be taken and plans should be made for an urgent gastroscopy to assess and treat the upper gastrointestinal source of bleeding. The second thing that will happen after resuscitation, if this is required, is a clinical assessment of where the bleeding is coming from. The medical history is key here and as part of the workup, you'll be asked about how much red blood has been passing, how long the bleeding has been happening, how often it is occurring, and the color of blood itself. Additional questions to ask include, are there blood streaks present upon wiping with toilet paper? Because this may suggest the presence of hemorrhoids or an anal fissure, which is a tear in the lining of the anus. Asking about the presence of abdominal or pelvic pain is important because the presence of pain may suggest an inflammatory condition of the bowel, such as inflammatory bowel disease, intestinal ischemia, which is where there is a lack of blood supply to the intestine, or peptic ulcer disease. Have you had a colonoscopy done recently and were any polyps removed? If so, it's possible that this bleeding could be coming from the polyp removal. A change in bowel habits, unexplained weight loss, and a family history of bowel cancer can be very relevant questions for your doctor to ask, especially if you're over the age of 50. A digital rectal examination is a necessary examination because it can provide very useful information. For example, it can confirm the presence of blood in stools and the color. Pain upon digital insertion may suggest an anal fissure as the cause of bleeding. External hemorrhoids may be found on inspection and a very obvious rectal mass may prompt concern about a rectal tumor. The third part of the medical evaluation is carrying out diagnostic tests to confirm the source of the bleeding. A very important investigation here is a colonoscopy, which is a thin flexible tube which is passed through the back passage and goes all the way around to the end of the colon, or in some cases, it can go a bit further to the very end of the small intestine. Most of the time, a colonoscopy will be able to confirm the source, but in some instances where there's nothing found, other tests may be needed. These include imaging studies or a test called a capsule endoscopy, where a small camera is swallowed and takes continuous photos inside the gut. This capsule looks for any sources in the small bowel that could account for the hematochesia. The good news is that the majority of cases of hematochesia are due to benign causes such as hemorrhoids. The most common reason for a more heavier bleed is from diverticular disease. And this refers to bleeding that's coming from blood vessels of pouches we call them diverticulae, found in the wall of the colon. Diverticular disease is a condition that increases in prevalence as you age. Fortunately, with diverticular disease and many other causes of hematochesia, 
the bleeding spontaneously settles the vast majority of the time. The final part of the medical evaluation is to look at ways to prevent recurrent bleeding. In the case of hemorrhoids, we know that high dietary fiber has been shown to reduce bleeding. If it's a blood vessel in the colon that's causing bleeding, we can treat this directly with heat therapy, or if it's a tumor, this can be operated on. Treating an acute flare of inflammatory bowel disease with medications can be effective in stopping bleeding. So in summary, and to go back to the original question by our subscriber, yes, if you do have bright red blood in the stools, you should certainly visit your local doctor for an assessment. I trust this has been helpful information for our subscriber and for all of you viewing. Let me know your comments and thoughts down below. Check out more Gut Doctor videos over here and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.